Chris. Hi, I'm Christine. Hello, my name's Bill. I uh, been a patient at Crescent for three years now. I uh, found them through the newspaper when they first started. Uh, last year, I uh, had a, a cold, and I came in and was sent for a chest X-ray, which I had no idea that there was anything wrong with me, and I was diagnosed with lung cancer. So a few months later, I had lung surgery, and I'm cancer-free, and if it hadn't have been for the Crescent, I wouldn't even have known that I had cancer. And I want to thank Crescent, the doctors, the nurses, and the staff for all the many hours they put in donated their time and that's about it for me yeah, i am christine again i found um crescent through my oxygen company i have full time i had a full-time job with salary i had pdos i had vacation i had health insurance due to the economy my employer had to cut my salary almost 500 a week which brought me really down. I've lost my health insurance. I became ill. I was told of the clinic. I came to the clinic. I was helped. They found out I had cancer. They set me up with a the doctor. They put me into the hospital for surgery. They followed up with chemo. I owe my life to Crescent Community. I couldn't have done it without them. I wouldn't be here today without them. And my thanks go out to everyone involved Miss Barbara has helped me mentally, physically, emotionally, and every time I've called, it's like I'm special to them. They're just there for me, and I can't thank them enough. Hi, I'm Chris, and I got involved in the Crescent Clinic when I was doing the electrical work in here, and I met Barbara through that, and I started telling her about my troubles, and. The next thing I know, I was getting signed up and, and got into uh, going to the doctors and, and getting involved with the circle of doctors in here. And uh, they put me through some testing and I ended up going into Oak Hill Hospital for uh, a stent. <clears throat> but I ended up that they couldn't do the stent and I ended up having open heart surgery three days later. I had a five-way bypass, which they call a cabbage. And well, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm alive and I thank every one of them for helping and, and getting me through all this. And I thank the clinic for, for being there for people that don't have insurance. So I guess uh, basically, I would not be here at all <laughs> because I was, I was getting weaker and weaker every day. So I just want to thank them and thank the doctors, thank Dr. Solomon and uh, Dr. Aldean and uh, Dr. Wall because they were the surgeons and I, I really appreciate them. That's about it. I don't think any of us would be here today if it wasn't for the clinic. No. So, they uh -oh. worked miracles. They found people to do surgery, you know, and donate their time, donate. And I just, I, I just want to say that uh, the clinic itself, Barbara and the staff, very, very nice. They all were great to me. Uh, even in the times uh, of need when my family came down and my daughter come over and, and talk to Barbara about what was going on. Uh, Barbara is there. She stood up for, for me and, and um, gave them hope, which was very limited at that time. And I, I just wanted to thank her especially for helping me through it all. Barbara spent a lot of time for us that we don't even know about, yeah. writing letters, emails, yeah, phone yeah. calls, yes, yes. and trying to find yeah. doctors to help us and or to help the clinic. So That's she's true. really dedicated 
and devoted her life just yeah, she, for Crescent. She stands out. <laughs> That's yes, for she sure. Does. Yes, she um, does. Mainly, I guess, um, if they didn't open up over here, I would have never known about it. So, you know, it, it was a blessing for me. I know that. So, like I said, I wouldn't be here today without them. Yes, amen for that. A lot. We wouldn't, any of us, I don't think, would be here today because right now there isn't any place out there that will, the doctor will see you without insurance. They won't see mm -hmm. you without payment up front. Hospitals won't accept you. And you're just, your hands are tied. It's like, mm -hmm. sorry, you know, we need to get paid for our services, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. But on the same note, we're humans mm -hmm. and we all need a little help. And the Crescent has been there above and beyond. I mean, they just, they're pulling. They're doing things that people, most people can't do. They're getting doctors, they're getting, sur you know, surgeons, they're getting hospitals. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, everybody's That's, getting involved. That's exactly. A good thing. I became involved with the Crescent Community Clinic back in March of 2010 when across my desk came a notification uh, from the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida Foundation for a grant. And because I believe in what the Crescent Community Clinic means to our uninsured adult patients, I wrote the grant, got it funded, and then became the uh, Director of Services for the Crescent Community Clinic. I, I strongly believe that the, we are the community clinic. We see our friends, our neighbors who have lost their health insurance uh, because of lack of employment. And they come to us with a variety of ills. We treat the diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, COPD, asthma, depression, epilepsy, cancer, obesity, arthritis, and we treat the whole patient. We also have a dental clinic that does extractions, infection control, and cleanings. And now we recently had a couple of psychiatrists that came on so we can provide mental health clinic and psychotherapy for our patients. Our patients are, as I said, they are our friends and neighbors that have lost their jobs and come to us. And we're so privileged to be able to provide the health coverage and the dental and the mental health for their, their needs. Barbara, I couldn't help notice um, when the other clients that had interviewed earlier, uh, when they were leaving, they had to give you a hug. That's, that's the way we like our patients to be. We, we really develop relationships with patients. We just aren't here to treat their illnesses. We're here to, to help them to uh, stay stable physically, mentally, and we, we just give them the uh, support we can to make them. Um, we're here for them, basically, to uh, keep them happy and healthy.